Hello and welcome to uh, First Time Ubuntu User. My name is Scott Adams. This video was mostly uh, moving toward the person who runs Windows, has never ran Linux or Ubuntu. I'm currently running Ubuntu 13.04. I have Ubuntu 12.04 on my desktop and basically I'm just going to tell you about some of the features for somebody who's never ran it before or thinking about running it. So if you're a hardcore user, this probably isn't for you, or maybe you just want to add some comments. All right, anywho, Ubuntu is uh, pretty similar to Apple. You think they kind of copied off a lot of their stuff. Uh, basically, let's get started. Over here you have your uh, little Ubuntu sign there that's going to show your most recent items in there. You have all of your installed apps you'd get right here, which I have a crap load of apps, probably not as much as a lot of other Ubuntu users. And with each one of those apps, you can actually, let's say, uh, grab this shitty Amazon thing. You could drop it right there in the bar and it'll stay there. If you don't like it, you just unlock it from the bar. Now, this comes preset pretty big. It's, you're you're going to get it and it's going to it's you're going to have a shitty pink screen that's going to look like this and, and the bar is going to be that big and you're going to be like my god I can't handle this I've, I've got to just this just looks stupid don't worry it's easy to it's easy to change anybody could do it and it's just as quickly as hitting little buttons like that and, and you can just uh, hide that. And I got to put it all back together. I hate that. Anyway, you can change desktop backgrounds. You can, it's just so simple. It's it, Windows is just it's been so hard. About three years ago, I ran Windows and it kept freezing and crashing and it sucked and it pissed me off. So the first thing I did was I seen some videos on YouTube about Ubuntu, Mint, all different, all different distros. And I decided, shit, I'm jumping in feet, feet first. And I did. I put Ubuntu on, and I just erased my drive, got rid of it. And I've been running this for three and a half years. Anybody can run it. Anyway, you have all your apps here. Screen recorder. You can uh, tweak the hell out of this thing. It's so simple. You can get a lot of these tweak tools from... Uh, either your uh, Ubuntu Software Center, which eh, runs okay, you can get a lot of your stuff off of there, or you can uh, go online, which uh, I'll show you here, you can go to noobslab.com, they have a lot of crap on here that you could, uh, <laughs> I got a shitload of stuff here. And you can go over to here, and you can you can download a lot of this crap. You just it, it's so simple. You just pick anything that you'd want, and you just copy and paste all the commands into your terminal. Very simple. You just copy, open your terminal, and you can paste it. I'm not going to go through this because I really don't want this on here. But you just follow the directions. Very simple. Simple. The terminal usually scares the shit out of new users. It's not as uh, intense as you think. Let me shut that off. Tweak tool. This this Unity tweak tool is really cool. I like this. I, I, I can make a lot of shit happen. It's wonderful. Games on, on Ubuntu. Like I said, I have Kerbal. Plays awesome. Minecraft. You know, I got Feed the Beast, Tech It. Minecraft works awesome. I even have uh, these little games that run in a yeah, emulator. I download those. Run just fine. Anybody can do it. Steam works really well. Steam has a lot of games that are coming up and on Linux. Love it. So, you know, don't let that discourage you. Switch over here. You can't play any games. You, I mean, you've got play on Linux right here, <laughs> which I haven't uh, actually installed it yet. So, 
I really don't want to install that just yet. I'll do that on my own. But uh, I have a firewall on it. You know, always have a firewall. Firefox, Chromium, you have to get on your software center. Easy, Netflix, go on noobs, or just type it in Google. You can get your Netflix desktop on here. It works perfect. Never had a problem with it. If you do things right, you'll never have problems, hardly. And it's wonderful, which I don't think I installed this either yet, because uh, I just put this on this laptop. I have a lot of computers, and I put a lot of crap on a lot of computers. But uh, if you if Ubuntu is not for you, then the uh, best thing to do is just uh, shoot over to distrowatch.com. You have all these different... Linux distros. Just because it's number one, Mint, Magi, Ubuntu, doesn't mean they're the best. A lot of these are just as damn good. Uh, I mean, Arch is probably <laughs> the most customizable. You can make it so awesome. But, uh, you know, that's for a hardcore user right there. So if you're a new guy, these three are probably going to be your best bet. Uh, OpenSUSE is not too bad. But uh, that's about it. I mean, Ubuntu is just so simple. I put it on my mother-in-law's desktop. She's 76 years old, didn't know what the hell she was doing. And uh, she figured it out. Nobody told her anything. She could do it. This is your home folder. Simple, right here in 1304. As you can see, you can play with it, do whatever. You got your home. This doesn't show hidden files. You do have hidden files. The best way to re reach those is hit your... Oh, shit, I can't remember. What is it? Super... Uh... Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. I run so much different shit that I just I forget everything. Okay, that's just all my music bullshit. Anyway, you just it, 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 you can go on and on. You can st it's just so simple. Got all my documents, all my downloads from from my torrents, uh, your music, which I use this for my iPod. I mean, and my Galaxy S4. Everything works perfect. You know your pictures folders. What's uh? Just set that as wallpaper. I can't stand that other one. Uh, of course, I have my cloud folders. I have Ubuntu One has five gigs of free stuff, free space. Dropbox. I believe that's it was two. I think it's four now. It says four. Uh, this free cloud space you can use. So you know, it's 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 really worth it. Got all your video folders. Trash computer simple I mean it's just it's just so intuitive if you're with Windows 8 now this is probably your best bet because you know most of your games don't play on Windows 8 anyway it just Windows just blows anyway that's about all I gotta say a little kid could run this I can run it and I'm a newbie only been running about three and a half years so uh I guess I could go over the system settings too. I forgot about that. This is so similar to to uh, Mac, and I was just thinking about that because I run Macs also, and I was just I, I it if you look at the system settings, I mean you you can't really <laughs> you can't really go wrong. Personal, personal, it's practically the same stuff. Hardware, system, I mean. Very, 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 very similar. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, if anybody else has anything to say in the bottom, just comment, add. That's how uh, Linux community is.